What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here and today we have to cover something that many longtime Bioware fans aren't too thrilled about and why I think it's a step in the right direction. First of all, you guys know I love Bioware storytelling. I've played every Star Wars The Old Republic game and Mass Effect game amongst many others. And do you know what they all had in common? I swear if someone in the comment section below says that they are set in space, <sighs> This is known. But one of the core mechanics, especially combat mechanics over the years in Bioware's games, has been centered around companions. Well, joke's on you all. Not anymore. But here's why I'm not disappointed or surprised. I think this is a great step for them to take. While, sure, I will miss having one or two of my crew slash friends following me around and saying the exact same phrases over and over again, I think this is a good change. For one, it will force players to play with others and make friends aside from that one NPC you want to be your special friend. But it works out all in all. You will still have a party slash team slash partners and they won't say the exact same phrases over and over again. Well, maybe their favorite curse word every now and again, but still. In a Game Informer article, Michael Gamble says, the game itself is built for you and a bunch of friends, because your friends are your companions in this case. That's the whole point. But does this mean you won't have well-written NPCs altogether? Absolutely not. You will still have your NPC team who manages your strider such such as our crippled mentor Halleck, who we did a lore video on, and the Cypher Owen. You will still meet a colorful lot of people within Fort Tarsus and so on. Does this mean your choices won't impact the relationships with said NPCs? I would be hurt if they didn't. Like all Bioware games, they want you to invest in their world become immersed, and form bonds with the NPCs, actually caring what happens to them. But what about those NPCs you want to be your extra special friend? Well, Bioware's Michael Gamble once again clears that up in an interview with Polygon, stating that there are no romances, there are friendships. Some of the stuff we did with Mass Effect, the Citadel DLC specifically, there was a lot of friendship moments. You and Garrus, sitting up, shooting, that kind of stuff. We want to lean into that. The romantic stuff, we're moving away from that for Anthem. I think moving away from relationships is refreshing and kind of symbolic. Anthem's style is something that has never been attempted before by Bioware, and it's a fresh start for the company. Similarly, with that new start, you want to try new things, or at the bare minimum, the lack of old things. So I'm sorry to all you classic Bioware fans that are upset with this change in gameplay and style. I think this is an excellent step in the right direction. Maybe not innovative, but certainly something new for the company, and I'm looking forward to seeing how Bioware and Anthem will pull it off. But I hope this clears up any concerns you may have had about Anthem's lack of companions. What do you all think about Bioware's change from their usual style? Leave a comment down below letting me know and don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope all you freelancers have a phenomenal day and be sure to find some companions, uh, I mean friends, before launch. See you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.